In today's video, it's all about having fun with model trains. I bring out the Coca-Cola train and reveal to you a very embarrassing secret about it. Embarrassing for me, not for the train. Spoiler alert, it turns out I'm really an idiot. Also in this video, at my wife's suggestion, I tried to shoot video of the model trains from my new drone. And let's just say it didn't go so well. And finally, I try a different way of mounting a GoPro onto Winston to try to get an even better point of view shot over the shoulder of Sir Topham Hatt. Let's start with the Coca-Cola train. This is one of the most interesting trains in my collection. They haven't made these in a long time, like more than 10 years. I've only had this one for two years. I bought it used, but it was still in as new condition. And I guess there was some confusion on my part when I bought it. I thought it was not equipped with DCC, that it could only be operated with an old school analog power supply. And that's how I've been running it for the last two years. But after I mentioned that in a previous video, some guy left a comment that, as far as he knew, every Coca-Cola train LGB has ever made has had DCC built in. And he suggested I should double check mine. Well, sure enough, he was right. I hooked mine up to my DCC controller and had it search for a digital address, and much to my surprise, the locomotive had one. So for the last two years, I've totally missed out on running the Coca-Cola train the easy way from my tablet wirelessly. And that is just another example of why in my house, one of the most common expressions we use is, Jim, you idiot. In fact, feel free to leave a comment onto this video that begins with, Jim, you idiot. So I've got full control of the Coca-Cola train from my tablet. And one of the things I love to do from the tablet is to fire off the steam whistle. So please pardon me if I severely overuse the steam whistle as the Coca-Cola train makes this next run around the layout.
Well, that's a good run from the Coca-Cola train there. And we're just getting started. I've got a lot more coming up. Later, I'll be flying the drone inside the house. And also, we'll bring Winston out for a run. But there's more video of the Coca-Cola train coming up right after this. Now I want to show you a really unique camera angle, the GoPro mounted on the side of the Coca-Cola train for another run through the layout. I want to bring out Winston with a Lego version of Sir Topham hat behind the wheel because in that previous video I used my smallest GoPro to get a pretty cool point of view shot of Winston running down the tracks. I want to make another attempt at it today with a bigger, better GoPro and see if we can get a little better video and a little better sound than we got the last time. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, I bought a Mavic Mini drone, and as I was setting up the trains today, my wife suggested I try using the drone to get some video of the trains inside the house. That's not easy to do without crashing the drone into the walls or the furniture, and there was definitely a learning curve, as you'll see here. In this clip, I managed to back the drone into the couch. And here's another little accident. This one was basically a near miss. Whoa. And finally, after quite a bit of practice, this was about the best that I could do.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching the whole thing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this kind of video and want YouTube to suggest other videos like this to you. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, click the little bell icon so that YouTube notifies you when I upload something new. And don't forget to leave a comment that begins with the words, Jim, you idiot.